Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Noah Valdez back at it again with another video and today we're going to be talking about what barbershop owners look for in a new barber. We're going to be going around visiting a bunch of different shops in my area, talking to different owners and seeing what they have to say about what they look for in a new barber. So if you're a barber and you're in barber school or you're about to graduate and you're looking to get into a shop, these are some things that you should be putting inside your bag or inside your mentality to give you a better chance to get into that shop that you want to get into. But this way, you're getting it from the source of several different barbershop owners and hearing their thoughts on what they're looking for, the qualities, the attributes that they desire in a new barber. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump on into the video. The first thing I'm looking for is whether or not you can cut. Um, you know, all the other stuff is going to be bonuses. If you can cut, that's like your first step into the door. After that, uh, it's going to be whether or not you're coachable, um, or if you would be uh, an e such a big ego, you'll be toxic to the uh, overall environment. Yeah, ambition is great, um, even if it's not uh, even, even if it's not ambition in the shop. You know. Um, like let's say that they want to branch out and open up another shop. Um, I think you missed the spot, Austin. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, ambition. Uh, ambition is overall right. Like we we want people who are ambitious, uh, just in the career itself. Like we have a franchise model here, but. If they weren't to open up a shop with us, we would want someone who wants to come in and actually expand their barbering career. Ambitious people, whether they stay with you forever or not, are nothing but positives to your environment. What's up, y'all? So, uh, things I look for in a new hire is I want to make sure that they're professional and that they're passionate about cutting hair. Because that's what my brand's about. That's what Cooks on 66 is about. So, I want to make sure that uh, something that could tell that they're passionate about this is if they're doing it because they obviously they like it. Uh, if they have like an Instagram where they're presenting their photos and they're actually eager to get better, that's one way to tell that someone's passionate about this. And then professionalism, like how do they conduct themselves? Um, are, they, are they using slang with me? And if they are, like are they deferring from using cuss words? Like will I feel comfortable with them greeting clients, greeting moms with children, you know, older gentlemen? That's what I look for. I want to also see that uh, they want to grow as an individual. Do they have a five-year plan for themselves? Do they see themselves doing this long term? Um, and do they want to grow? Do they want to get better? I've actually never been to this location, so I'm pretty excited to see what it looks like in here. I know my boy Josue got it looking clean. Mainly what I look for is definitely punctuality. I mean, if you can be punctual and uh, also communicate with me, if you're not gonna be punctual, like uh, just shoot me a text, hey bro, I'm not, I'm not feeling good today or I'm running behind, I'll be there in an hour. That goes a long way with me. Um, if you just leave me hanging, then obviously it's very unprofessional. Uh, a big thing uh, for new barbers is portfolio. Not, not so much clout, but definitely some sort of social media presence, um, at least three or four haircuts on your, uh, on your Instagram. It's gonna give me uh, an idea of what kind of barber you are, how new you are to the game. That way, um, if we do hire you, we know where to start, we know where how to coach you. We have to be uh, aggressive in the teaching process or a little, you kind of like you're good on your own, you know? Definitely clean, cleanliness. A clean barber is definitely something I look for. Just because most of the time a lot, a lot of barbers are really sloppy, uh, yeah, not the cleanest, but yeah, cleanliness, organization, it goes a long way. Uh, if you're a clean person, then I know for sure like your haircuts are going to come out clean. At least you have the potential to, uh, to do clean haircuts. Um, also, just someone who's trustworthy. Trustworthy and communication, definitely uh, the biggest things for me. A student coming out of barber school, you would have to... I'm looking for somebody that's willing to learn, open-minded, and that really has a passion to just learn. You don't even have to really cut hair, you just have to be willing to 
learning a lot of practice. People that want to do it. There's going to be times at the shops where you don't make no money. You just come and literally sit all day until that one person comes in. You just wait from open to close. Jay, and uh, what I look for when I hire someone new is uh, make sure they have really good work ethic and they, they have just a really good vibe around the shop. What's up, guys? This is Carlos from Royal California Barbershop. So, something I look forward to in a barber is consistency consistency being like on time you know just that drive you know to, to want to be a better uh, barber in general you know, always learning always trying to do your best in every haircut people expect to fade or to learn how to fade quickly but as long as you're just consistent and you don't give up you will get better over time and you will start to see your clientele built don't be discouraged if you're not understanding the fading process right away, whether it's whether you're a month in or a year in. And uh, also, there's there's a lot to it. You know, some people think it's just a haircut, but it's really not. It's also how you communicate with the customer, your customer service. You know, your energy, your vibe. You know, people feel that, and uh, that's something that sometimes it's not always the haircut that the reason why they come back it's because they really like you. They really like your um, your vibe, your persona. All right, guys, so that was the video. Uh, there's definitely a lot of good nuggets in there from all these different owners. If you're a barbershop owner and you feel like you have anything you want to add, please feel free to comment down below any attributes that you're looking for in a new barber. And if you're a new barber looking to get into a shop, let me know if you found this video helpful. Comment down below some of your favorite quotes from these barbershop owners. I put all of their Instagrams on screen whenever they were talking, but they're also gonna be in the description down below. So please go and show them some love and give them a follow. And I wanna give a big shout out and a big thank you to all the barbershop owners that were featured in this video for taking the time out of your day to do this and also for giving us some of your knowledge and expertise within the field of barbering. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And let me know in the comments down below future video ideas that you guys would want to see me do. And once again, thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.